afternoon, ladies. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Isabel, and I want to thank you for allowing me to share about my life today. Uh, I grew up in Australia with my mom, my dad, and my sister, and God was always a big part of my life. Uh, my parents would pray with us most nights before bed. Uh, we read Bible stories, stories as a family, and we went to church. And that was all I was familiar with. I was very sheltered by the world. Now, when I was 12, we moved from Brisbane to help plant the Sydney International Christian Church in Sydney. And the demand of the mission team, it, it changed the dynamic of our family. My parents went from just going to uh, church, to midweek services, Bible talks, um, they were in Bible discussions, Bible studies, and they were sharing their faith. Um, and I'm sure as most preteens, I was quite selfish, and I, I thought God was taking my family away from me. Um, because of this, I became very bitter towards my family, the church, and towards God. Um, so much so that I completely disregarded His existence in my life. I isolated myself uh, from the church, and in my heart, I blamed them for it. But with all the insecurity in high school, I fled to the world as a source of comfort. Um, with high school comes expectations, and I became a very insecure and anxious person. Um, I believed that, my, that I would find my self-worth and value in other people in my relationships that I had. I went to an old girls high school with a very supportive environment. Uh, they, they glorified diversity, love, individ individuality, and celebrated a range of communities like the LGBT community. And in my, in my search for security, I ran to the first glimpse of attention I got. From the age of 14, I was in a secret relationship with a girl in my year, and knowing my parents' views on it, I hid and lied to them for two years. Within the two years, my parents found out and made me move schools, and I grew very angry towards them and towards God. <coughs> Lying became so familiar to me. I would lie about where I was after school on the weekend, sneaking around. Uh, and I even, involved, I even involved my friends and their families to help cover for me. The world is so full of uncertainty and confusion. Uh, I came out as bisexual during the two years, and my father came out as gender neutral and transgender. Um, identifying and transitioning to a guy. It never once fazed me. Uh, I was so blinded by having someone in my life that I thought that I thought gave me my value. I held in so many emotions, trying to sneak around and lie to so many people. I became so drained. I went partying as an escape and an outlet. I get drunk until I passed out. I got drunk at school, not wanting not wanting to deal with the lies that I had become a um, I smoked marijuana to, to conceal the overflow of emotions, only to wake up with regrets. And I prayed to the God that I didn't believe in, just in hopes that, <coughs> that I wouldn't get caught. I was so confused. I had the relationship, I was partying, having fun, I had all the pleasures that the world glorifies. And yet I was so miserable and numb inside. I hated feeling sad. I thought I was ungrateful for what I had. I was so hard, I was cutting and starving myself just to try and feel the emotions again. I struggled to get out of bed most mornings feeling so weak. But through all this, I had completely neglected God in my life. Until last year, my family and I were able to go to USA to the Global Leadership Conference that our church holds every other year. And I met some incredible teenagers um, my age and younger, who were Christians and serving God all around the world. Um, I was so impacted by how firm their faith was. I had never met, met a teen disciple before. I was blown away by their passion and their love for the God that I had constant battle with in my mind. I didn't understand how teenagers could be filled with so much happiness and joy in their life. I thought that was something that I never felt or experienced. Um, or even saw from my peers. I fell in love with their example, their example of Jesus, and they weren't weighed down by the world. They were free and happy. I was so fed up with the life I was living. And during that week at the conference, I broke up with my partner and I knew I had to get my life back. But I still had ignorance in my heart, and it took going back to Sydney and going and going through it intense car accident that could have killed or injured any of the six people involved for me to understand that God was protecting me through this time. I 
started to study the Bible and get deep into God's words, um, and I was amazed by the God that I thought I knew. I started to understand why my parents had given up everything and moved for God. Their convictions on church and God had become mine. I felt so enslaved in my bitterness um, towards the church, and I was confused by the love that they continuously showed towards me. I was filled with so much shame and fear having to confess who I was behind closed doors to my parents and my family. And yet all they showed me was compassion and gratitude. Since becoming a Christian, um, since becoming a Christian, God has allowed my relationship with my parents to blossom into so much lasting love. And in November of last year, I was baptized into God's kingdom. I stopped drinking, smoking, never thought of harming myself again, and I've never been more at peace than I have today. In my life of sin, pain, and hurting, God had a great plan for me. He freed me from myself and allowed me to see that I no longer need to seek approval from anyone but Him. I can be radiant.